Body weight versus bodybuilding. I don't see why you gotta choose I'm not gonna lie. I can't, I can't even talk. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> There's been so much work. Trying to keep up with YouTube. Trying to keep up with everything. Um, my cardio, like my cardio I've been doing four times a week. Eating right, running all these businesses. We're about to, uh, Craig Nutrition is about to launch. We're doing like some other cool things that I'll talk about soon, but man, it's been exhausting. I woke up, I believe the lowest I've been, <clears throat> 193.4. That's like, shoot. <laughs> I've, I don't remember the last time that I was 193.4 when I was actually training. Like it's very unique. So, go hit legs. Another long day ahead. Remember, as much as you don't want to do it, just do it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Inaka from Shali. He's from Out. Uh, is he with Outfleet? I have no clue. But uh, he sent me these. And they look pretty freaking high quality. Pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. So recently. I've been receiving a lot of questions about body weight training. I actually want to address it because obviously I've, I've been doing it for so long and I'm going to be honest. The question that I've been receiving is, is body weight training, can you build muscle from body weight training the same as you can with bo like bodybuilding moves with what I'm doing right now? Body weight versus bodybuilding and as you know this is a body weight to bodybuilding series where i'm basically stepping on stage and i have 100 days or i'm 99 days out which is insane we're no longer in triple digits i've been i've been doing this for a month and a half i think i've been counting my calorie for 46 days specifically and i have a pretty good understanding of the difference i would say that i'm, I'm I'm pretty high expert with with training modalities and kinesiology, um, exercise physiology, the cardiovascular system, and how it associates with with your day to day, like what you're doing, uh, the steps that you're doing, um, e like every everything that has to do with training itself, especially when it comes to bodyweight training and how to build muscle. Now I started bodybuilding more than 45 days ago, I started about 65 days ago. I started that, that process. And so this is what I'm gonna say. To step on stage, bodyweight training, it's, it's, a, it's a lot more difficult. It's a lot harder. And I'm not just saying that to say it, it's the truth. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're not very smart with, with your own training and how to change up the variables and the variations, and make sure that things are a little bit harder. Um, if you're not getting enough volume, if you're not targeting the muscles that you want to target, it can be super, super challenging, especially on your chest. When you talk about thickness, the actual thickness of the muscle, you can train with a very, very high resistance with bodybuilding movements a lot more efficiently. You don't need to work as hard to get to that position. What I mean by that is, let's say you're doing a, I don't know, let's say you're doing a push up and you wanna hit the upper chest, but you wanna make sure that it's hard enough for you. So instead of going to grab a little weight or, or changing the positions and being as explosive as possible, because that's one of the ways that you can change the variables in order to kind of put more stress on that area, you can just go and do an incline bench or you can just go and do an incline machine. 
You know, you could also do some flies. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can do, a lot of different variations in the gym. Now, when it comes to building muscle in general, not just thickness and stage ready, yeah, you can build an incredible body with bodyweight training. And actually, like I've been saying for so many years, I believe combining both bodyweight training and weight training is the best, most efficient, most effective way to go. And I say that because of how many different types of training you can hit within just one workout. You can hit that hypertrophy level. You can go and do some muscular endurance. You can hit some power and you can hit some strength. But more importantly, you can hit that functionality while focusing on building muscle. And that's the cool thing about it is being functional and doing the other thing at the same time. So with that being said, honestly guys, like both, 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 both. It's not either or. And if you think it's either or, you're shooting yourself in the foot. You're shooting yourself in the foot because you're limiting. You're limiting a lot. Because hey, after you step on stage, you gotta remember, yeah, I was doing body, bodybuilding only. I'm gonna start incorporating a little bit more body weight training now. But like, after you step on stage or after you complete something, what's next? Like, don't you wanna be flexible? Don't you wanna have uh, incredible mobility? Don't you want to be able to complete other movements that maybe many others can't complete? You gotta think of these things. Body weight versus bodybuilding. I don't see why you got to choose one from the other. And people that stopped following me because I, I stopped, I, I like stopped bodyweight training. Like what? Or people that stopped following me because I got so su super sick or super injured. Like what? See, I'm going to thrive either way. And the people that are watching, I appreciate you greatly, like big time. And I'm going to take care of you guys. But man, there's so many limiting things around us that that not only hold us back with like with like the knowledge based principles but hold us back from our own results and not only the training but in our life our relationships everything it's time to break free of that so stick around i'm not just saying that to say that people that left me because i was injured or sick like i don't do that to other people because i know what they're going through and i know that they're going to come out even stronger I'm stronger than I've ever been. I'm more powerful, I'm more excited, I'm looking better than I've ever been in my entire life. So, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed that little little rant or whatever. We had some uh, some little, some videos over, overlaid, looking all cool and shit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna drink some. I'm actually gonna have lemon water. This is something that um, I used to do. It's a great detox for your body especially really, really good for your liver. And then I'm also gonna have my greens, my Create You Greens, releasing them in July. And then I'm gonna have my creatine HCL, my vitamin B12, my vitamin C. And then I'm gonna have, oh, check this out, check this out. So, these are my two bad boys. I'm gonna start eating. Um, as you can see, look at these labels. Like we got 90 calories for one bar, 16 grams of carbs. So what I'll do is, before my workouts, I'm gonna start having these every morning to get that good good. And that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go hit legs. Ooh, this is gonna be a good day. Good day, let's finish strong. I'm also going to get a massage, something I haven't gotten in a very, very long time. I feel like my body is wrecked. Here we go. Oh shoot, and, well, and I forgot to say, woohoo, go morning. It's been a very long time. I feel super old to be doing that, but at the same time, I missed it for myself. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Let's get it. What's going on guys? So I wanted to come on here and do a little bit of a voiceover, talk about my workout so you can kind of understand uh, what it takes and more importantly, what I'm doing so that you can maybe implement into your own workouts something similar. So 
Today, I, I obviously warmed up first. Always warm up. It's so, so important. Foam rolling, all of that. But I started off with some sumo squats, and I was doing three sets of eight sumo squats on the Smith machine to eight hex bar deadlifts with a 90 second rest. This is not an easy feat at all, especially when you're controlled on those sumo squats on the Smith machine. This hits your quads so, so freaking much, especially when you're going and supersetting it with hex bar deadlifts, which are hitting your quads even more and your glutes engages so much. Now the importance here is just is just keeping technique. I mean, when you're going slow, time under tension or any movement that's a little bit slower and controlled, if you have bad technique, you're really just gonna start using muscles that you shouldn't be and you're not going to receive the best results from that movement. And it happens a lot, especially with time under tension. So do not miss out on that three sets. I was, I was fried. I was so fried after this. I was like, damn. All right, next, next super set. Now, um, next super set is four sets of 12 dumbbell bench hammy curls, hamstring curls, to eight single leg Swiss ball curls with a 60 second rest. So I time all my rest periods. I have it always on my, my wrist, on my, um, my watch. I also count my steps, 10,000 steps a day. And so what I was doing here was just really controlling on the way down, not too heavy on the, on the hamstring curls you don't want to go too heavy on those dumbbells i wanted to go with like 80s but i was like no there's no reason to and you want to make sure that your core is staying tight which means your stomach is going to be peeled or peeled sorry i can't even speak to the bench and then right from there we go into eight single leg swiss ball curls so we're just smashing our hamstrings and our glutes are obviously going to be broken a lot but with that 60 second rest for four sets you're going to be feeling it so much if you count your rest periods you're going to see so much more results so much better results you're going to optimize your training and that's what we're trying to go for right so uh third final superset i did eight split squats on a smith machine to 12 pull throughs with as much weight as possible <clears throat> the entire weight actually so the eight split squats was uh it, it was fucking on point man i'm i, I won't lie like Split squats, if you're doing them correctly and everything's aligned, they are so brutal, yet very, very effective, especially when you're on a Smith machine. So I wanted to make sure I was staying controlled as possible throughout all these different movements, especially the pull-throughs. And as you can see, I, I had a little bit more depth with my pull-through, so I was coming all the way down and then coming all the way back up, but really focusing on that low back to glute activation through the hamstrings and squeezing up top. So that's pretty much the entire workout. How did I feel? Well, I'm pretty exhausted, not gonna lie. Uh, this prep has been not really kicking my ass, but the fact that I'm building all these other businesses and creating nutrition's coming out, it's it's been a lot of work, um, and I'm working nonstop, 24/7. Taylor sees it and everything. Um, and then finally, I, I finished off my ab workout, and, and this ab, these abs, I, I want to make sure that I come in peeled and with a little bit more thickness than I than I have now. When uh, on on October 5th, honestly. Like I, I, I really want to show up as best as I can. Like I'm not a new guy or a newbie. I want to show up like I'm a vet. Um, and then I, I plan on really building some size after that. But we can talk about that when the time comes. That's the workout. Hope you enjoyed. Big time. We're not stopping. Nonstop every single day. We're putting in the work. Are you ready? You with me? Let's keep on rolling. Guys, I am literally getting... So freaking lean. Look at this. And I'm feeling like I can really, really compete and stay here all day. <laughs> like I feel so good. It's crazy. Look how, look how skinny my waist is right now. I've never been, been like this. Oh my gosh. I would love to hear what your thoughts are about my body fat percentage. What body fat percentage do you believe I'm at? Um, as you can see today, I did a little, a, a couple, uh, well, a body weight movement with the Swiss ball. That was really fun. But all the movements that I did wasn't too much compact or stress on my lower spine because my nerves didn't bother me. And I'm actually about to go get a massage. First, I got to eat. Woo! It's a damn good day. It's a damn good day. We got to uh, eat real quick and then we're going to get a massage. Now that I have titties, 
I gotta squeeze my own titties. This is great. Anyways, uh, yo, I I'm kind of curious. Do you like to wakeboard or snowboard better? Do you like wakeboarding or snowboarding? I, like I live in Denver, right? So they have, I, I believe they have wakeboarding at, like at some of these lakes, it's really, really cool. But in like snowboarding is like my thing, like I love snowboarding, right? I just don't know how it translates and I don't know if my back's gonna snap in half. Would love to hear your opinions, thanks very much. Now I'm gonna be eating and I'm actually going to, I'm gonna have very lean ground, or not ground turkey, that's roasted turkey. And then I'm gonna combine it with some freshy, freshy rice. So I got all these different rices. I got coconut, ooh, I'm gonna have coconut rice. I'm gonna have a cup, uh, a full cup, so one serving. And I got these new things, they look so freaking good. Oh, and, and here's the cool thing is that, like the macros don't even shift too much. I mean, 210 calories is not too bad. Seven grams of fat, 32 grams of carbs, four grams of protein. And then over here, like the regular white rice is zero grams of fat, 49 grams of carbs, and three grams of protein. So it's very interesting how, um, you know, you can kind of shift it up a little bit and still have rice. I and mean, there's a little bit more in here, but this looks freaking Delish. Chaboom, baby. Oh, man. You know what they say. If you eat right, you feel right. When you feel right, you look right. And when you look right, you do right. You dig. Seriously? Oh, my gosh. What is... The Lord has blessed me. The Lord has blessed me. All right, so we are here with my friend. What's your name again? Katie. Katie. And we're about to get a massage. You guys know, you guys know, you know how I am with all my body work. I've been doing it for, for years and years and years. So uh, we're about to find out how this feels. Honest reviews, as always. <laughs> a little nerve wracking. <laughs> wow. This is what I want my room to look like. Oh yeah? Nice. Do you want to come decorate? I, this is actually a friend of mine. I didn't do it. I gotta oh give her my credit. God. This is great. Well, the good news is that you have uh, some certifications. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> this good is thing. beautiful. All right, let's get to it. Sounds great. Let's do it. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm about to sign up for a two hour session now for next week. I want to get back into this because I want to, I just want to show up on stage just better than I ever have. And I think that um, what it's going to take is just, just to be all around prepared in every in every facet so mobility nutrition stress levels all of it all attributes to overall body development and where you want to be so Kathy Catherine baller amazing Real life, <laughs> real life. I decided to get this. I want everything to be create you, like literally create you everywhere. I'll talk about calisthenics very, very soon, but create you. Good old Saturday. I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, I just got off the phone with my buddy Yoshi. So you played, which Power Ranger did he play? He played Power Rangers. YouTube. YouTube does this all the time. Like I said, I was on the phone with my buddy Yoshi, and it looks like we may have another awesome, another awesome addition to the Create Your Nutrition team. Uh, like, I, I've been working so hard on, on these relationships, because I think, I, again, I, I literally think that influencers have been taken advantage of for way too long and they're not making the amount of money that they deserve uh, or they should be, as simple as that. So I'm reeling in like incredible athletes and outside of athletes, ambassadors, actors, actresses, models, I'm gonna bring everybody into Create Your Nutrition and show them what's actually possible. No bullshit, no bullshit allowed. And not only are the influencers gonna make more money, but everyone else that is paying for the products are going to benefit because one, high quality fucking ingredients, sorry for my language, and number two, lower prices. Lower prices. 
even for our shipping. Wait until you see our shipping on launch day. It's gonna be insane. Anyways, um, now, like I said, I own other businesses, not just nutrition. I'm working on Body by Brooklyn, so that's someone that I work with, Brooklyn Hill and Brand. Amazing, amazing person. Um, we're growing her membership system as well. And so we're actually coming out with her free small meal plan. It's really, really cool. She put her macros, people can follow it for five days and even just grab a little bit of more knowledge. knowledge and, and it's just like a, it really is just a, a freaking cool, cool way to, to bring people in, to, to receive something, to see value in her as an influencer, and then also get people to purchase her membership. So they can follow all of her workouts and follow her programming and she's scientific. And when it comes to bodybuilding, she is the girl to go to. She's a baller. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I actually have to edit her sales video. So uh, if you don't mind me, I'll be doing that. So, good old Saturdays. I'm someone that, uh, you know, I work a lot, right? But, well, I am around so many people all the time. It, it's actually very surprising because I actually many times don't want to be around people. And today's kind of one of those days where people are hitting me up. They're like, hey, do you want to hang out? Do you want to do something? And I'm just like, no, I, I really don't. And let me give some perspective. So when I'm focused on all these different things that are happening, like all these businesses and, and everything, um, I'm also working towards being a better man for people around me. And, and when I'm working towards that, it's actually exhausting. And so during the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm supporting so many people, but I'm also trying to show up in a different way to everyone. And, and it's like a, it's a constant exhaustion. And with this prep and everything that's coming, it's all like all encompassing, like it gets, uh, it, it gets overwhelming where I don't want to be near people. I don't want to be around people. Like I have no problem being around people, but like talking, just talking is exhausting to me. <laughs> Um, and, and you might be listening or watching this right now, not listening and being like, Oh, well that's fucking interesting, Brendan. Cause we never really even knew that, but yeah, it's the truth. Today's one of those days. It's Saturday. I don't want to be around people. I don't, I went for my massage. Um, I really needed that for my sciatica. Um, I'm going to go drive around and look at a couple, uh, spaces. I can't tell you what for, but, um, that's coming soon. So yeah, I'm just, just like a day to myself. I'm feeling good. Uh, my neck, my throat always bothers me. It feels like someone's pressing up against my throat. That's been like almost a two year thing. My sciatica is bothering me. I have things that are bothering me, but hey, nothing, nothing I can't handle. All in all, great day. Now let's go drive around. Let's go check out some places. Alright guys, just got home, been practicing some posing. We're just having a naked show down here. Boom, baby. You're so fucking thick, dude. You're fucking thick. You're just massive. I'm trying to end. Like you're just like your your width of your body is just not here that's a problem, but hey, you're, saying, like, I'm, I'm cool. you're a fucking bodybuilder. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's gonna be the video for today. Thanks for tuning in. Body weight versus bodybuilding, like which is better, like weight training, body. I've already gave you my spiel. I think both. Um, also, just grind it out. Whatever you're going through right now, just grind it the mother and out. And I guarantee you all will come true. Remember, Crazy Nutrition is coming very, very soon. Super excited for that. And yeah, podcast every Tuesday and Friday. Don't forget about that. The Create You Experience. You can look it up in the description, whatever. I also give you a free giveaway. I give you all these like different pro prizes, programs, stuff. I'm about to pass out. I'm so exhausted. Um, thanks for tuning in for another episode, another workout, another day, another vlog of body weight to bodybuilding, 99, 98 days, I can't remember, 99 days.
Can't wait to step on stage October 5th. Let's get it. Peace.